After a two-week spring break, Congress is getting back to work. The busy agenda is a contentious one for House Speaker Mike Johnson. Johnson is trying to shepherd a narrow Republican majority and fickle members already known for pushing leadership out. Let's bring back our panel. Uh, Alice, let me start with you. I asked the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, uh, Mike Turner, Republican of Ohio, how worried should Speaker Johnson be about his job given the fact that Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, is talking about a motion to vacate just for letting there be a vote on aid to Ukraine. Uh, here is what Congressman Turner had to say. I don't think he's at any risk. I think that, that what, you know, what people have been referring to as the chaos caucus, those individuals who are seeking attention for themselves and trying to stop all of the important work in, in Congress uh, are now seen uh, as merely disruptive. So he's dismissing this effort by Marjorie Taylor Greene, but she's still taunting the speaker on Friday. She wrote on Twitter, quote, Democrats are already saying they are ready to save Mike Johnson because he's doing such a great job for their agenda. We need a new speaker of the House, unquote. Of course, that's not what Democrats are saying at all. That is a lie. But Alice Stewart, what do you think? Is his job in, in jeopardy? No, it's not. Uh, great interview with Congressman Turner. And rational Republicans like him and ones that I speak with say Marjorie Taylor Greene is on an island. She is alone in this effort. Sure, she's got a few of her far right uh, rebel rousers that will go along with her. But the, the majority of reasonable Republicans have more important things to do. And look, Speaker Johnson's in a difficult spot. He wants to get things done. He wants to legislate, but he's dealing with the far right, right flank. And here he is trying to, to get things done. And Marjorie Taylor Greene is trying to just get in the way. Every time she goes out there and, and pushes back on him or calls him a Democrat or saying he's soft or saying that he is um, uh, blackmailed, she does that to fundraise and to get attention, and that's continuously what she's doing. But fortunately, there are a lot of Republicans out there that say, I agree with Johnson. We, sometimes we might have to work across the aisle to get things done, and that's what they need to focus on. Because right now, the, the enemy is not Speaker Johnson. The enemy is Joe Biden and liberal policies. That's what they need to put the focus on. So Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene is holding a town hall uh, in her district in Georgia tonight. She says she's going to lay out everything that's happening in D.C. On, on Twitter, she writes, quote, my district's voice represents most Americans. They are the heartbeat uh, of America. Um, what's your take on all this? I, I mean, I just disagree. I, it might be the heartbeat of Donald Trump's party and what they want to do, and they're just creating chaos amongst, amongst their caucus. And as Democrats, you can just sit back and sort of watch them unravel. But to remove Speaker Johnson from the speakership was just going to create more chaos again, and things just aren't going to get done. And I just, I don't think that's where the American people are. So, you know, we want, they want action. Yeah, and, and on the short list for Speaker Johnson, whether or not to provide funding to Ukraine or at least even just allow a vote on it, um, right. he, you know, you could, it's not the same thing necessarily as supporting it, just allowing the Congress to vote on it. How to reauthorize uh, FISA, the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act. There's a big uh, fight between uh, Jim Jordan and uh, Congressman Turner on that. Also right for debate, the role of Congress uh, and funding to rebuild the Key Bridge in Baltimore. Um, okay. It's a lot. It is. And look, on each of those issues, there is the valid concern amongst many of the fiscal conservatives that say, look, if we're going to spend money here, let's look at offsets somewhere else. Let's look at where we can make reasonable cuts. And I think that is a valid argument for them to be making. But for them to be just so hell bent on no on everything is not productive. I think they need to look at each of these issues and individually and make the case for that. And many of them want to see more transparency with Ukraine, but I think Speaker Johnson and others recognize what we're giving for Ukraine, it's not charity. It's an investment in democracy. And if Russia succeeds in Ukraine, then what's next? So they go into Poland and other countries and potentially America. So I think it's important to look at this from the standpoint, what is the best investment in democracy and not just make everything about if you don't go our way, it's going to be no way. Of course, one of the other things Turner said to me was he agreed with his fellow Republican chairman, Mike McCall, who said that he hears Russian propaganda on conservative primetime shows. And, and I asked him about that McCall quote. And Turner said, I hear it from Republicans on the House floor. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a real issue, right? Like, I think that to your point that if they are not funding Ukraine, that is a, a huge step in, in not funding democracy. And I think that we need to move forward with that. I don't think people realize, again, Vladimir Putin's number one ally would be Donald Trump. So I think that that's a huge focus that people need to, to realize. And Marjorie Taylor Greene has an audience of one here with the former president. So I think that that's, to, back to your original question, I think that that's one of the most important issues that we're going to have to look at. And then on Wednesday, the House is expected to send the articles impeachment 
against Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas to the Senate. They already passed to the Senate, where Democrats are expected to, to vote to dismiss the case quickly. Democrats, of course, uh, have the majority there. Did that entire ordeal do anything for House Republicans other than chase out Republican Congressman Mike Gallagher, who was, you know, one of the bright lights of the Republican Party? Yeah, look, it, it certainly brought to, it, to light the issue of the border security. And you think it need, did? Need, it, it did. The impeachment? But, the, the, the point is, I think it did bring to light, look, there's problems at the border. We sure. have a massive influx. But look, um, policy disagreements are not grounds for impeachment. And I think it was important to raise the issue. It's a valid issue. Even Democrat governors and um, mayors are saying we need to secure the border. That's a valid argument. But to make this about an impeachment, I think waters down. The real issue is that Biden's border policies uh, have led to an influx at the, at the border. And that is a real issue that Republicans could be running on and, and instead of impeachment. Thanks to both of you. Appreciate it.